Uh, hi, my name is Amitabh Singhal. Uh, I am a resident of Delhi, uh, 60 years old. In 19-2021, I got a shock when I was diagnosed with something called uh, aortic stenosis. At that time, it was mild to severe and I didn't realize the implication, uh, implications of such a disease. But over the next one year, one and a half years, it became severe and uh, my aortic valve uh, functioning was impaired, pretty bad. Uh, even though I was totally uh, asymptomatic, I had no symptoms of any kind that are classical to uh, such diseases. Uh, I did not have breathlessness, I did not have dizziness, I did not have blackouts. I was physically very active, I was still playing for a couple of hours every morning. Uh, so no, no, no you know, tiring or anything of that sort. But then, uh, uh, and I had been to various hospitals, consulted a lot of cardiologists, some of the best cardiologists uh, uh, in and around Delhi. And they all said that I need to have uh, uh, open heart surgery, uh, which was pretty scary and I wasn't really prepared uh, mentally for that. Uh, the idea of getting cut up, uh, cut open and then being in the hospital, ICU for three days and then seven days in the hospital and then three, four months of recovery and the high risk rate uh, with the open heart surgeries as they are. Uh, and then Providence, I uh, got to know about uh, Dr. Amit Chalosia and I got hold of his number. Uh, there was an advertisement uh, that made me do it. Uh, so the moment I made a call, and this was just about 10 days back, uh, uh, Ms. Swati Vora, who is the manager uh, in the department uh, with uh, Dr. Amit Chaurasia, she responded to the phone and uh, her welcoming attitude about when do you want to come and how do you want to, uh, what do you want to uh, discuss about. Uh, you know, it was a welcoming tone, uh, which generally you don't find in very many hospitals these days. Uh, I actually felt comfortable, came with my father, uh, made a couple of jokes about uh, how is the father who's still carrying his 60 year old son to the doctors. <laughs> and uh, anyway, the diagnosis was pretty clear. Uh, he said, yes, I should do something. Now it's high time because there could be a sudden uh, episode which may go out of control. So no point taking a chance. And I think uh, the best part was Dr. Amit Chaurasia took almost an hour uh, to explain right from the beginning as to what the condition of the heart was uh, and what happens in different cases, different scenarios. And he said, yes, uh, there was a new uh, uh, the technology called TAVI, Transcatheter uh, Aortic Valve Implant. Uh, sometimes it's called Transcatheter Valve Replacement. So in my case, I would say it's TAVI because uh, the earlier one, disease one is still there. Uh, not replaced but uh, a new one is implanted now this is the technology which most hospitals in and around delhi were aware of but most cardiologists even the best renowned ones uh, refuse to do that to me saying that you're too young you can have surgery uh, but then dr chaurasia when i met him for the first time he explained to me and i felt comfortable in the way he explained he gave a lot of time uh, which most doctors don't uh, these days and uh, he actually suggested that yes tavi is possible for you. It's a new technology. I researched about it earlier in the last one and a half years and I was pretty comfortable that this is the thing that I would like to have. Uh, the only impediment is that it's very expensive. Uh, so affordability is always a question mark there and I think that's the reason why it's not very popular in India. Uh, but anyway, that's that aside. Uh, I actually uh, then made, uh, made a decision that uh, I should go in for uh, Dr. Chaurasia's treatment and he's an expert on this treatment. He's one of the best operators the country has for TAVI. Uh, going by his record that I researched also on the net. Uh, and I came back for a second meeting in the next four days uh, after the first meeting. And he did say that uh, you have an option for surgery. I'm a good candidate because of my uh, health condition which was pristine otherwise. Uh, I've, been, I've been physically active and no symptoms. So I could still have the option of surgery if I wanted to. But then I said, no, I don't feel comfortable with the idea of surgery. I would rather think of TAVI if you will do it. I says, I'm ready to do it. I have no issues. And uh, uh, tell me when. So you discuss at home. These are the cost implications. And uh, if you decide, you just call me up and let me know. And then we'll fix up a time and date. And I think uh, the next day, it was last Thursday or something, when I called and uh, I said, look, we have decided we will do it. And he took the phone, uh, he responded, I said, can I get admitted on Monday? He says, yes, you're welcome to do it. So Monday I was here, uh, all the tests and this, 
uh, registration process was very smooth. I came in directly into the office of Dr. Chaurasia, uh, Swati and the team were around. Uh, I didn't have to really do any running around. Uh, uh, there were people who were helping. Uh, we got the admission done uh, in Azifi. Uh, it was a breeze. Uh, everything to be settled at the time of discharge. Uh, no demand for upfront money. You know, the, these are the kind of things that most people generally get hassled about in many, many hospitals. It's very impersonal there. Here it was like, okay, fine, everything's taken care of. When you, dis when you get discharged, we will take care of everything. So whatever insurance covers, balance, if there is any, we will uh, take care of it. So it was as smooth as that. Within five minutes, registration was done. I was allotted a great room. It's almost a, a, it's a super deluxe room. I mean, it's a massive room, better than a five-star hotel in a way. <laughs> so, okay, don't expect those luxuries, but then it's huge with a great view of Gurgaon. Mm. And yes, uh, I think... Uh, uh, the next day was, uh, so I went through a lot of different tests. I was taken around different labs, echo, x-rays and stuff, ECGs, uh, many tests. And then uh, day before yesterday, uh, Tuesday was my procedure. I went in smiling, laughing, talking to everyone else. Preparation took about half an hour. And uh, an actual uh, procedure uh, was about one and a half hours. And the best part of that, I was awake through the entire procedure. Okay, uh, I was mildly slated, but I was not groggy. I was fully conscious. Uh, they just used local anesthesia to do the uh, procedure. I was able to listen to every step uh, that uh, Dr. Chaurasi and his team were discussing. Uh, could feel a little sensation of things going in and out of my body. That's about it. So, and two hours later, I was out and uh, uh, I, I came out walking and uh, I could see that uh, Mr. Chaurasi's staff, like Swati herself was there uh, to receive me back out of the OT. So that's something which makes you feel that yes, you are being taken care of. There are people here uh, who actually treat you as a personal guest. I mean, that's rare. Uh, believe me, and I know about a lot of hospitals. Uh, I have a lot of friends who are doctors. I have a lot of family people who are doctors. So I can uh, give that and I can vouch for that kind of experience. Uh, at least that has been my experience. And therefore, yesterday was the procedure. Today, I'm going to be discharged anytime soon.